Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make this lit up, looping, circular animation, all in PowerPoint. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is start on a blank slide. I have my three colors that I'm going to use for this animation. I'm just going to bring them into my blank slide and put them slightly off the slide just so that I can use them for reference. And the first thing we're going to do is draw the lines. So I'll click line, click to reveal it, make sure it's straight. And I'm going to right click on it and choose format shape. Now I'm going to make sure that the line is five point wide and I'm also going to make it 10 centimeters. I'm now going to align it to the center and I'm going to go to the eyedropper tool and choose the color that I want. So for the lines that aren't lit up, it's going to be this dark red color. Now we're going to duplicate and rotate. So I'll press Ctrl D and I'll firstly rotate it by 90 degrees. Again, align it to the middle, Ctrl D again, and I'm going to rotate this by 45 degrees and align it to the middle and then Control D on this one, and I'm going to rotate this by minus 45 degrees. Now finally align this to the middle, and this is the first part of our shape for this animation. I'm now going to select them all, Control G to group, Control D to duplicate. I'm going to align this to the middle, which is over the top at the moment, and then I'm going to hold down Shift, which actually locks the rotation into 15 degree increments. I'm going to control D again and again hold down shift to lock the rotation into 15 degree increments. So this is the first part of our shape and in the next two steps we're going to see this tutorial take shape. I'll right click, choose format background, solid fill and eyedropper on the purple shape. I'm now going to click on oval and I'm going to make sure this is also the purple shape. And make sure it has no outline. And this is going to be eight centimeters. We're going to align this to the center. So there we've made the base of this graphic. Now we're going to make the lit up sections. Firstly, I'll select everything except the circle on the top, which I'll do shift click to deselect. I'm going to press group and I'm going to duplicate. Again, I'm going to align it to the middle. And now I'm going to make this the bright color. Eyedropper and the bright orange. We will need to get the purple circle back to the front. But before we do that, I'm just going to change some of these lines to give it the effect of the animating lights that we showed earlier. So I'm going to click once and then click a second time to select the line inside the group. And then I'm going to put this on 5% transparency. I'm going to put this one on 10% transparency. I'm going to put this one on 20, 30, and just carry on going till I get to the bottom. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and then 95. Now we're going to send this to the back by right clicking center back and then finally we're going to send this to back. This should give us the exact layer order we need and for the last part we're going to animate this. So I can delete my color references as we don't need them anymore. I can delete the slide they came from and this is going to be the first slide in our animation. And when I press Control D and go to slide two, we're now going to click on this lit up section. And again, the magic part, hold down shift so it rotates by 15 degrees. We do need to make sure the transition is very quick though. So I'm gonna give this something like 0.01 and then make sure that after is selected. So after the duration of 0.01, it will go to the next slide. Just going to zoom up the slides so you can see what we're dealing with here. Press Ctrl D again. Rotate. 
by holding down the shift key, very important. Control D again, rotate. Control D, rotate. Just keep going till we get right to the end. which will be 13 slides. So now when we play it from the start, we'll get one cycle of the animation and then I'll show you how you can loop that. Looking good. So now we go to slideshow, we go set up slideshow and we choose loop continuously until escape and OK. And we just want to make sure that the very first slide there has got the after box ticked and that it's down to 0.01 so that'll match all the other slides so now when we click play excellent the looping lit up circular animation looking good finally as a little bonus just show you how you can easily export this to a video because at the moment it is 13 slides and there might be a case where you want to keep this as the animation and then export it to a video to use in your presentation a lot easier than having multiple slides. So we can go to File, we can go to Export, we can go to Create a Video, then we can choose the resolution. Anything over 1080p would be good, so either 1080p or 4K. And then you can say Create Video. I can just go to my desktop and call it Loading Loop Animation Start. Save. And now that's created an MP4 file that we can use easily and set up to loop in any presentation. So hope you enjoyed the video. I think it's a great way of learning these little tips and tricks so you can make your own great looking animations in PowerPoint. Thanks very much and I'll see you in the next video.